Consider yourself hiding? <laughs> Everybody's left me. Oh, I'm gonna hurry home and go to bed. Huh, how boring. They're all a bunch of silly weaklings. 
Everybody's gone. This is no fun. I might as well go home. Well, bro, so long. So long. Let's hurry. Imagination. begun to hurt. Finally, he decided to go out and look for something to eat and left his house. Despite the early time of the morning, Red was too hungry to stay at home. So, stopping often, silently, but with all his might, he sniffed the wind-blown air. I hope I don't hear that again. It's too scary. Uh, Reddy's famous nose really is able to distinguish things that the eye cannot see, nor the ear can hear. I smell some kind of baby bird. Hmm? Oh, it's chicken meat. Mm -hmm. Strange voice just cannot be compared with you. 
<laughs> That's true. That's true. I'm not afraid of anyone of anything. Really, I am... <laughs> By the way, Jimmy, I found a half-eaten piece of meat. <laughs> meat? Mm -hmm. If you don't believe me, come with me and see with your own eyes. But I don't care to eat meat that much. Uh, but aside from the meat, I thought there might be some fallen eggs that you like so much. Really? Uh, Jimmy, that meat might be left by the stranger who scared the... Uh, well, naturally, I wasn't scared. But all the others were, of course. Oh, really? Look, beneath that tree. Well, who would you think brought it? Say, let's go closer and look, then we'll be able to see who left it. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Say, Jimmy, to avoid any danger, wouldn't it be better if someone stood guard over here? That may be. Then let's do this. Now, I'm taller than you and can see beyond the grass field. So while you're checking, I'll stand guard for us. How's that for an idea, hmm? That Red, he wanted me to check if there's a trap or not. What a cheap guy. Hey, Jimmy, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Uh... The teeth marks and tracks closely resemble yours, although he's much larger. Oh, have you ever seen this guy? I can tell without seeing it. Its teeth marks are on the meat, and in the sand, its tracks remain. Mm. And maybe it's this stranger that we're hearing. Ah! Mm. Why, if you think I'm lying, come and look. No, it's all right. You're the one who wanted it checked, wasn't it? You know... Really, I just remembered something important that I have to do. If you find out anything more about it, let me know later. Hmm, what foolishness. Thanks to him, I wasted a lot of time. Hmm? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, wait! Oh, ha, ha, ha. Huh? Wow, that was too close for comfort. My gosh, I thought for sure it was that unknown stranger. That's it. I'd like to know about that thing also. So we decided we'd go to Digger the Badger and ask him. A good idea. But, uh, Jimmy, since you have a weapon that makes you afraid of no one... So... Well, uh... You, you know, you aren't afraid of the unknown stranger, are you? Uh-uh. Huh? No, that's no good. I don't have this fume bag just for the sake of quarreling with others. I still think that you ought to go see Digger. He's from the West, and he would know something about the stranger. And what is it, fellows? You want to know about that voice, you say? Yeah, if it was you, Digger, we thought you would know who it was. Well, well uh, I, uh, um, you see, it's like, oh, uh, um, uh... Usually, he doesn't associate with others, so it's a little hard for him to converse. In short, he's come from the Great West, and he's a friend of mine. A friend? In short, yeah, yeah. A coyote, old man coyote, who's come from the Great West. Old, old man coyote? coyote. Huh? Oh, old man coyote? Coyote. 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 Jimmy and 
Johnny quickly told everyone what they had heard from Digger the Badger about the coyote, what they should do to avoid being caught by the coyote, or if they did meet up with him, what they should do. All this had been learned now, and everyone was a little bit more at ease than before. Hi. Yeah, why is everyone so jumpy about that nothing old man coyote? You're nothing but a bunch of cowards. Me, I'm not the least bit scared. Yeah, you're really not scared? Hmm. That kind of guy, if I meet up with him, I'm thinking of giving him a scare. <laughs> yeah, is that so? Well, show us some of your strength. <laughs> In due time. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible! That coyote's out in broad daylight! Oh! Ow. time, Brother Badger. Hey, it is an old man coyote. I thought it was t time for you to make an appearance. I sure did miss your voice. You're about the only one who would say something like that. <laughs> and how long will you stay? Such a nice forest, I thought I'd look around and stay a little while. Well, in any case, I'll have to pay my respects to my immediate neighbors, but it'd be nice if they are pleased. <laughs> you have a mean streak. You know full well that they are all afraid of you. <laughs> Speaking of that, Reddy, Reddy the Fox, is saying that when he meets you, he's going to, to get you. Aha! Uh -huh. Reddy the Fox. That one. I better check for myself to see how much courage that Reddy the Fox really has. Judging by the voice, he's over at the ranch. Okay, now's a good time to go look for some field mice. Ha, 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 ha. 
so I did just what anybody else would do, so I am not a coward. <sighs> If you want to live long, you've got to run. But if you flee, you are laughed at, and you must live in hiding, live in hiding. Mm -hmm. 